So nowadays the technology has advanced quite a lot. Um, as we all know, a knee joint has several compartments. There are three main compartments in the knee within the joint. The one on the inside, which is the medial compartment, the one on the outside, which is the lateral. And there's also a little joint between the kneecap and the thigh bone. And nowadays, uh, the surgery can be tailor-made specifically to the pathology that is present in the joint. Um, previously, a few years back, even if the patient had arthritis in one particular aspect of the knee, the answer was to do a total knee replacement operation. But now we can tailor our operations just to treat the pathology and leave the rest of the knee uh, alone if it's not shown any signs of wear. So that is a partial knee replacement where you don't replace the whole knee, but you replace the part of the knee which has shown signs of wear and tear. So this could mean you could just replace the medial side of the knee, the lateral side of the knee, or just the patellofemoral, which is the joint between your kneecap and your thigh bone. It's a lot different. Um, I think in terms of what we do inside the knee, we respect the fact that the part of the knee that has not worn out is still maintained. The function of the ligaments of the knee, which is the cruciate ligament is still maintained. And we just replace the part which is worn out. So overall, it's a much smaller operation. It gives a much faster recovery to the patient. The range of movement is a lot better. And uh, it maintains the anatomy of the joint a lot more as compared to a total knee replacement. A total knee replacement is indicated when most of the knee is completely worn out, where there is no chance of replacing just the part which is worn out. These days, uh, there are lots of varieties of joint replacements available within hip and knees. Uh, most of these center around the type of materials that we use uh, in hip and knee replacement. To give an example, in hip replacement surgery, you can have cemented hips or uncemented hips where the actual prosthesis is put with or without cement. And we also talk about the actual bearing surface of the joint where the ball and socket uh, uh, match with each other. And now the latest technology has a lot of different types of bearing surfaces, uh, which help in reducing the amount of wear a joint undergoes over a period of time. So we have ceramic bearing surfaces, we have metal bearing surfaces, and we have ceramic on uh, 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 polyethylene bearing surfaces. Uh, the technology has advanced quite a lot where uh, the, the ceramic hips along with the polyethylene bearing surface uh, give probably the best combination along with ceramic on ceramic bearing surfaces. A hip can be now tailor-made to the patient depending upon the age of the patient, uh, depending upon the activity levels of the patient, but most of the hip replacements which are in the market are fairly safe in terms of the materials that they use. Uh, the metal on metal hips are becoming unpopular because of the problems they had, but the safe hips are either a cemented or an uncemented hip with a bearing surface, which has ceramic on one side and either ceramic and a polyethylene, a special type of plastic on the other side. 